Hello and welcome to Sam Dan's Couch. Today I want to show you how easy it is to expand your storage of the PlayStation 5 by using the Evolution HDD Gear Pro X 8TB hard drive as an example. A lot has been talked about how fast SSDs are, but if you have a lot of PS4 games that were made with a mechanical drive in mind, you really don't need the extra speed of an external SSD. Especially since SSDs are still much more expensive compared to regular hard drives. I suggest investing your money into more gigabytes that a cheaper mechanical hard drive has. For now, 8TB is the absolute limit that Sony lets us use on the PS4 and PS5. This limit is set by Sony and could be lifted in the future. A limit that for example Microsoft doesn't impose on the Xbox. If you connect a drive higher than 8TB to your PlayStation, you will be presented with the following error message. I bought myself the Evolution 8TB hard drive. It features a sleek design that copies the design of the PS4. But you can use any PC hard drive as well, as long as it has at least USB 3.0 and isn't larger than 8TB. You can use this drive also on a PS4, but having it connected to a PS5, it is like having a tiny PS4 connected to your PlayStation, which I think is pretty awesome. The case is very sturdy, features cool blue LED lights, an USB-C connector, an external power adapter is supplied as well and is required for a drive this size. And what is even more special? A power switch. So if you just want to play PS5 games without the external drive running, you can leave the drive switched off without a problem. Pretty handy since power buttons are pretty rare these days. The drive comes with rubber feet, which you'll have to install yourself. Thanks to the feet, the drive sits nicely on an even surface and doesn't scratch anything up. You can choose between placing the hard drive vertically or horizontally. Also noteworthy is that the drive is passively cooled, so no annoying fan noises. The drive itself is also very silent and is already pre-formatted for the PlayStation, so you can instantly use it. Any drive you connect to your PlayStation has to be directly connected to one of the USB ports of the console. Sony doesn't allow an USB hub to be connected in between the PlayStation and your external drive to ensure maximum speed. In my case, I already had an external hard drive connected to my PS5, filled with PS4 games, a Western Digital Elements with 5TB of storage space. Since I was already running low on space, I am now upgrading to the new 8TB drive. Since a recent update to the PlayStation 5, not only can we use and play our PS4 games on an external drive, we can also copy over and therefore archive our PS5 games as well. You won't be able to play PS5 games directly from the external drive, but copying it back onto the internal SSD is pretty fast and much faster than reinstalling and downloading PS5 games from the internet or a game disc. So it's definitely worth it and this way you can make quickly space on the internal SSD for new PS5 games when you get them. Now there's one catch. If you want to move games from an external drive to a new external drive, you just can't. Sony won't let you connect two external drives at once for external storage usage. So to move games around, you'll have to copy them onto your internal drive first, disconnect the old external drive and connect your new external drive. Then copy the game from your internal drive to the external drive. Annoying, I know, but you'll only do this a couple of times and then you are done with this process. In my case, I used my PS4 to copy games from the external drive to the internal drive and then back onto my new external drive. Reason being that my PS4 has 2TB internal space, which made this process go by faster. I wanted to test how much faster the new 8TB hard drive is compared to my old Western Digital. As an example, I copied the PS4 game Eagle Flight, which has a file size of 5.03GB. Here are the results. To copy the game from the external Western Digital drive to the internal PS5 drive, it took 1 minute and 4 seconds. To copy the game from the internal PS5 drive to the external Western Digital drive took 59 seconds. Now copying the same game using the new Evolution hard drive, both writing and reading from the drive are almost identical, between 40 and 41 seconds. To sum these results up, not only do we have 3TB more space with the new drive compared to my old Western Digital drive, it is also about 20 seconds faster in reading and writing. Not bad at all. As a secondary test, here are the times for the Evolution drive connected to a PlayStation 4 Pro. Writing and reading from the Evolution drive is practically the same, at roughly about one and a half minute. So now comparing speeds between the PS5 and PS4 with the same Evolution drive, 
the PS5 is around 50 seconds faster, thanks to the internal SSD and in general higher bandwidth of the console. When moving several games at once though, don't expect to be done anytime soon. But again, you do this once and then in the future you can just directly install PS4 games or move PS5 games onto the new external hard drive. To conclude this little review, you can use any kind of external drive as long as it supports at least USB 3.0 and doesn't exceed 8TB in size. The Evolution drive is a very nice all-in-one package. It is silent thanks to its passive cooling, fast, it is preformatted for the PlayStation, has a power switch and a very nice PS4 design. On top of it all, it is very reasonably priced at $149 at the time of me reviewing this drive. I hope this review could give you a little insight of how to quickly give your PlayStation a lot more space. If you enjoyed this review and want to support us, please consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel to never miss a new video from us. Also check out our Twitch channel to watch us play the latest and greatest games. Thank you and see you next time on Sam Dan's Couch.